Hey, it's Raven Tactical here. Um, just giving you a kind of a quick heads up, a news update. Uh, the House is proposing their bill and they're going to hear it and vote on it Wednesday this week. Um, the bill is basically a complete ban of all semi-automatics, assault rifles. Um, it basically targets every sort of AR-15 magazine and drum. Fed shotgun magazine, fed anything. Um, this ban is pretty huge. It, if it actually does pass, which I don't think it will, but you never know. I mean, the concept of taking a large thing like this and throwing it at the wall and seeing what sticks is more of what you're going to probably see, right? So, um, just a heads up. So, Wednesday, pay attention to the news. Um, try to write to your congressmen and senators in the house and try to actually see what's going to go on. Um, but I don't know, you know, gun control is the big topic this month, this week. Uh, everybody's meeting and coming back, so expect red flag laws to pass probably, expect the background check to pass. Um, you're going to be seeing a lot of things coming up. Do I think an assault weapons ban before 2020 will happen? Maybe not likely, but, you know, it all depends on how, uh, things with Trump go in the 2020 election, and it depends how the Democrats go. You have people like Beto who are already proposing, yeah, the flat out, we're coming for your guns. Well, you know what, at least he opened his mouth and opened the doors to it because that's the actual truth of what every politician is coming for. To me, Republican or Democrat, they're all coming for your guns. Um, a good subject is an unarmed subject. So with that a note, um, at least try to figure out who, if you can vote for someone at this point, because I don't know, you know, the right likes to propose that they are the pro-gun side of the uh, spectrum, but the Republicans have a history of uh, supporting anti-gun control or anti-guns. You know, they're not exactly a great record of it. And then you have people like Creshaw, who came out of the box, like you know, who you would think would be the constitutionalist guy that we were hoping for, someone who could run for president and win, maybe. But he turned out to be just the same thing, the same kind of John McCain 2.0, where I respect the military careers they had, but I don't respect the, uh, the, the bills and things they're trying to pass. I think that's kind of just crazy. Like, this is what you want to come out with. Anyways, um, it's basically what I'm going to give you for a news update. Um, at the very tail end of this, I'll just give you my the fitness update for the week. I did six days in a row. I did 5K runs and 5K hill climbs. Um, quite a bit of running and doing stuff there. It was incredibly hot this weekend. I'm hoping it cools off. I've never expected the end of September to be like in 90% humidity and 85 degrees all day. It was gross. Um, couldn't get very much done as far as working outside, but we were able to hang some targets and get some things going. Um, we do have um, a food, what would you call it? It'd be food video. Basically, it's showing you how to prep your food for long-term storage. I'll have that coming. We did all the edit, or I shouldn't say editing. We filmed everything as far as doing the Mylar bags, um, but I still have to edit it and tweak it because it did take a couple different shots and a couple angles, so it wasn't as fluid as I'd like to keep it where I don't have to do a lot of editing. So expect that. Uh, the canoeing, this camping trip stuff is pretty edited. I just have to go do the voiceover. Um, so hopefully this week I'll have a couple untraditional videos for us to have out. Um, we do have people like uh, Ro, uh, I'm trying to think of the other group that looked at us. Uh, Palmetto Preparedness, he, excellent channel, helping us out. Um, I'm looking to see too as far as joining with other channels to see what people want to do as collaboration. Um, we're looking into doing a round table with uh, one of the preparedness channels to do a round table discussion. And that's going to be interesting to see how it's going to work because our internet is terrible. So. I might have to wind up doing it at McDonald's parking lot if that's the case. Anyways, um, have a great day. Have a good uh, good time, and thank, hope you had a good weekend. This is Raven Tactical out.